Hello, Katie Butler here to discuss your 2019 housing market review. Jumping right in, average sales price went from $400,000 to $416,000 or about 3.5% increase. If you prefer um, median price, that went from three sixty dollars to three eighty-five, dollars or about 4%. Not as dramatic as years past, but still healthy. And I think it might change in 2020. We will see. So Sacramento is huge. There are a ton of different little neighborhoods, so they didn't all perform equally. So when you take a little bit of a closer look, some did a little bit worse than that 4.1%. Some were just about average and some did a little bit better. Now this is by zip code, so even within a zip code, it can be varied. And if you are curious about your particular neighborhood, please reach out. I'd be happy to share with you what it did and what it looks like. All right, looking at sales price year by year for the last few years, as I said, it was a little bit more dramatic and we were in the eights and sevens. Um, but I wanna draw your attention to the final column of inventory. If you see at the end of 2018, we were nearly double the inventory that we were used to for the last few years. And I think that had an impact on our pricing in 2019. Now, at the very end of 2019, our inventory was back down to about a month. And that just means if no more houses came on the market, we would sell out of houses in a month. So um, if you're a buyer out there right now, I'm sure you're feeling it. There's not a ton in, of inventory, um, kind of slim pickings. So I think that's going to apply pressure on the pricing, pricing this year and draw it up a little bit. So I've been hearing murmurs from people and some of my clients of a recession. And I want to remind you, the definition of a recession is just that the GDP has slipped for two consecutive quarters. It does not mean housing crisis. Let me say that again. A recession does not mean housing crisis. And many economists feel very positive about the housing market. If you look at the last five recessions, housing was only negatively impacted in one, really negatively impacted in one, and that was 2008 what many of us still remember and some of us still feel the effects from. So it's very um, real and I can see why people are hesitant and worried, but we do not have the same factors in place that caused the housing crisis in 2008. Um, regulations have changed and we economists think we're going to see an increase this year more in the four to five percent range. So um, a few other factors are that rent just keeps rising. So more people are going to be trying to buy houses and millennials are finally buying houses. In fact, last year was the first year they were the largest buying pool, the largest generation buying houses. And they're the largest um, generation since the baby boomers. And 26% of them expressed an interest in buying a home this year. So I think we're going to see a lot more activity this year and um, see that four and a half, five percent increase in pricing in 2020. So that would put the average sales price more like 435, 440, something like that. So um, no matter what, I hope you find this information useful, interesting, but before you do anything housing related, Discuss with your trusted real estate advisor, which I hope you view me as. Uh, just remember, my brother and I are always here to help you out, uh, answer questions, bounce ideas off of, and see if it's the right time for you to make a move. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.